Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making string beans with buttered breadcrumbs. Welcome back to my channel friends! My name is Anna and this is Polish Your Kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious Polish side dish of string beans with buttered breadcrumbs. Uh, this is a dish that we eat in the summer a lot. As you may know, Polish Kitchen is very seasonal and string beans are in season right now. So we'll eat, we'll eat those through the summer a lot. And the buttered breadcrumbs uh, topping is normally uh, done on uh, string beans, yellow or green or cauliflower and it's super delicious and I uh, love to eat it through the summer. I'm using yellow beans today and all I did was trim the side of the bean that is attached to the stem. Does that sound like That sounds good. Okay. I'd like, I keep the other side, I don't know. My parents normally trim that but I like, I like the ends so I keep them. So these are washed and we have to boil them first. So I have my pot ready here. And I'm gonna throw them in. I'm gonna keep our dish for serving later here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Probably about a teaspoon. And I have some pre-boiled water here just to keep things going faster a little bit. So we want the beans covered and if you're doing um, cauliflower I normally break them up into a smaller um, florets, what do you call it, florets? And this is how much water I have. And that's perfectly fine. So these will get covered and I'm just going to move them to my back burner here because I'm going to use the front one to show you uh, how to make breadcrumbs or the buttered breadcrumbs. So you'll need a small pan and you don't want it super hot because we don't want these guys burning and they will burn in no time. And you can kind of try and work with your proportions butter to breadcrumbs. Some people like it a little bit more buttery, uh, meaning kind of more loose and watery. And some people like it a little bit more chunky, so then you'll do less butter. Are you gonna put your breadcrumbs in, the, in your pan? And you're gonna watch it like a hawk. At this point, it's a dry pan? Dry pan. Dry pan. Dry pan. Dry pan. And you have to watch this like a hawk because as soon as your pan heats up and the breadcrumbs are going to start turning darker and darker and they'll burn in no time. So just kind of don't do anything else. <laughs> just be in front of your pan and keep an eye on it. Uh, so this side dish, as I mentioned, we normally eat um, with dinner and this would be served next to potatoes, surprise, and some kind of protein. So either like stewed chicken or schabowy, which is pork chop, breaded pork chop. Uh, see, I show you how this is starting to brown on the, on the outside. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So just start stirring. Like and making millions of pieces of toast. Yes, and you want to, we want to toast the breadcrumbs a little bit to give them a little bit more flavor. But at this time, I would just turn this off because the hotter this is going to get, the darker these guys are going to be. And I don't want them much darker. And on top of that, we're going to add about three tablespoons of butter. And I started with, did I say how much breadcrumbs? I added quite a couple of the breadcrumbs. And see how they keep browning. And I suppose you could wait with this, 
part until your bread, your beans were done and just dump it over on top before serving. But you, you probably have other things going on since this is just a side dish. You're also going to be making pork chops or you're going to be prepping the chicken or you, whatever else you're making. Uh, so this can be sitting in your warm pan and just waiting for your breadcrumbs, uh, for your beans to be ready or your cauliflower. And that is it. We're not salting this. We're not putting anything fancy in it. This is simple, simple kitchen. Um, as I was saying, you would serve this as a side dish. And to me, green beans kind of, I relate them with American Thanksgiving because we would do the green bean casserole which I love, by the way. And all of my Polish, Polish friends and family, every year they're like, make green bean casserole. And we do celebrate Thanksgiving in Poland. Not because Poland does, but because we're half American. <laughs> so this is a great way to, pol to Polish your Thanksgiving to serve this dish in America, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> My husband behind the camera is a traditionalist as far as Thanksgiving dinner goes. Uh, so we're going to wait on our green beans, our yellow beans, or our cauliflower to finish cooking in the back. They're going to need probably about 12-13 minutes. We want them soft, but still have a little bit of crunch in them so they're not mushy. My fasorka, my string beans, have been cooking for 12 minutes and I've drained the water out of them and they're nice and hot and I tasted one and they are nice and they have a little bit of crunch to them but they're not mushy and, and cooked through. So this is what you do right before serving. You're going to put them in a nice dish like this beautiful Polish pottery. And you're gonna take your breadcrumbs, and I have kept mine um, just on one, on the lowest setting, just so the pan stays warm uh, and the butter is, is melted still. And all you're gonna do is just put a little bit. My mouth is watering already because this dish is delicious. And kids love it, and my daughter always picks off the breadcrumbs off the top and then just a little toss just to get the breadcrumbs all over and straight to the table and everybody's gonna love you. Would you like to taste? Yes. Our breadcrumbs are soft. Hot, hot, hot. They're soft. And the butter adds nice, nice flavor to them. They're not boring, just string beans. Delicious. Don't need anything else other than dinner. I hope you make this soon. I hope to vi you visit my uh, apron and merch store, poetryourkitchen.com, and up on top menu merch store. You can buy uh, aprons like this. Thank you for those who are supporting me and donating to my website and buying my merch merchandise. We have t-shirts and uh, aprons and baby onesies. I'm adding new designs all the time. So please stop by and buy some, yourself something nice and visit me again. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Smachnego!